Hello Audacious, my name is Josiah. I am here to bring you today's devotional. It's based on what inspires faith. And I, I thought it'd be a good idea to just do a quick Google search and find out what faith actually is or, or the definition of what faith means. And so Google just chucked me out these responses. The first one is it's a complete trust, the confidence in someone or something. And the second one, a strong belief in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual conviction rather than proof. And as I read, I read that second that second line. What came to mind was the story of David and Goliath. Now, David, for some context, has come to the Israelite camp, who is in battle with the Philistines, and there's this big massive scary dude that's got a really big spear and he's terrifying all the Israelites and he is um taunting the the, the Israelite soldiers and basically saying that you're worthless your god is not better than our gods and I'll destroy you because I am physically better than all of you and when David arrives he hears this um insult this this taunting coming from Goliath and I, I, I just, I see it now. He, the, the gears start going in his head, and he's going, "How dare this Philistine insult God's people?" Because David was a man that that loved the Lord and and followed Him like devoutly. And and so, this is where we begin to see where faith comes in to our actions um and david so david then goes to, to to saul and says hey i will fight goliath and saul's like are you sure you're like a small guy um yeah but david responds by speaking of how when he was in his field fighting looking after the sheep he fought a lion and a bear and during those situations the lord protected him so he went after the lion that went after his sheep. And when the lion turned on him, he grabbed it and killed it. And the same thing with the bear. And out of that situation, David has now got this faith that the Lord will protect him in any situation. And so we all know the story, how it ends. David refuses to wear the body armor that, that Saul offers him. And he then goes and kills Goliath in an incredible feat of um, just... It's, it's, it's crazy that this small boy kills a giant eight foot guy who would definitely, if David had got close enough, probably slaughtered him. But this story just inspires so much faith with me because it's not in the situation that David gained his faith. It's what David did beforehand that allows him to have the faith to be able to walk through the situation he's in. David would spend his days looking after the sheep, worshipping, praising, in prayer. And it was that walk with God that allowed him to step into a situation like the one with Goliath that would seem crazy to any other person. And it's something that has inspired me personally, that my relationship with God in in my everyday when people don't see what I'm doing or, or when I'm not at church is what inspires my faith because my relationship with God, the stronger that becomes, the more I begin to trust in him and the more faith that I have, he's going to come through for me. So I just want to say today, the Lord is, is, is with all of us and he definitely wants us to spend more time with him. Let's take some inspiration from David and go, even in our quiet times, let's worship, let's praise, let's build that faith in us that allows us to fight bears, fight lions and fight Goliaths because that's what he's called us to. It's like the verse in Judges 6.12, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. We are all mighty warriors. We are all part of his family and he has got incredible plans for all of us. So I hope this has inspired you today. I'm just going to quickly pray uh, that you have a blessed day and, and I think I'll close off. So Lord, I just want to thank you for every single person that is um, tuned in for this devotional. I know that you love each of them like unconditionally and it is such 
um, a privilege to be able to bring the word today. I thank you for everything that you do for us. And I pray right now, Lord, that you would inspire faith in each and every one of us, that you would start lighting fires in our hearts that just cannot be blown out. And that through our interactions with you, that you would strengthen that fear. You would coax it and grow it until we are walking spiritual warriors. I thank you, Lord. And I just pray that you would bless each person that is tuned in with an incredible day. In the name of Jesus. Amen.